Hi guys, it's Lothet and you're watching Lothet Sani. So today I'm here with a new video. I am doing an adoption Q&A. So I've got seven questions here. I'm just gonna answer them. If there's any more questions you guys want to know after this, please let me know in the comments down below and I will answer them again. I'll do another one. Uh, so I'm just gonna stumble through this. So the first question is from Tony who asked me on Instagram, did you always know you were adopted? If not, when were you told? No, I didn't always know I was adopted. I found out in February 2005 when I was nine and it was because a rumour started in the playground. <laughs> Sorry, I'm playing with a pen because this is really hard for me to do. I'm really struggling. I've filmed this twice already and I'm actually bloody struggling. I didn't think it would be this hard, but it bloody well is. So yeah, no, I found out it was a rumour in the playground. Oh no, I don't like it. I don't like it. Memories are coming back. Cue Celine Dion. It's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back. It's all coming back to me now. Oh no, I don't like that. Um, so yeah, it was a rumour that started on the playground. It was a shock to me, my class, my teachers. Only four people in my class and in my school their parents, only four of the kids' parents knew. No one else knew. And that was, um, one of them would be in Fern, who I'm closest to, and I still talk to, to this day, who's my best friend, and uh, yeah, she's helped me for the past 12 years with this. So she's actually given me three questions to answer. Uh, so I'll answer them last, because she just asked me them today. But yeah, so uh, that's when I was told. And uh, it wasn't a good experience at all. Um, would not recommend, 10 out of 10 would not recommend. I was meant to be told when I was 11, when I was going in, in Paris. And that didn't happen. It happened in the playground and it was quite cruel. I think now, being older, I do realise how cruel it was. Don't do that. If you know something about somebody, don't spread it around as a rumour, right? Because you never know, it might be true. If you hear something, just don't because it's just... fucks. It fucks that person up. Because my world got turned on its head when I was nine. Because for nine years of my life, I thought I was... I look so much like my adoptive dad that it's not even funny. And it's just like the whole world got turned upside down and you know, my depression basically started from there. Um, so, just, it, I don't think, I've never really properly spoken about how fucked up it makes me, but it fucked me up royally. And um, I don't think it would have fucked me up as much if I'd heard from my parents in a kind of controlled environment. That wasn't a controlled environment, that was a shit storm. Um, that much I can remember. So um, yeah, no, it did fuck me up a lot. So then Tony asked, how did it feel meeting Jan for the first time? If you guys don't know, this is why I keep mentioning birth mum because last year I met my birth mum for the first time. On the, so I'll talk more about the Bernardo's um, process in another video if you guys want. Like this video if you do. Um, so yeah, I found out on the 22nd of April that Jan wanted contact with me and by the 2nd of May we had met for the first time. So it was a bit kind of quick witted and stuff because we made first contact with each other uh, via letters that got delivered on the 29th of April. By the 30th, Jan had messaged me on my um, YouTube Facebook page, link down below. Um, and then by the 2nd of May, we were meeting at Air Beach. So it was very quick. Um, but how did I feel meeting Jan for the first time? I think nervous. I think everyone's nervous. I kind of had to walk by myself. My mum and dad parked and I just had to walk and Keenan was there and it was just weird. And um, yeah, so it just kind of was a bit, I guess, strange. But it was so natural and I think that's what scared me the most. A general test to that, it was very, very natural. Um, now on to Maddie's questions. Maddie has asked on Twitter, did you struggle to let your birth mum into your life when you first met her? Oh, hell yes. <laughs> but I think I hid it well. Um, yes, I struggled so much because I don't know. For a long time, I didn't actually want a relationship with my birth mum. That wasn't anything I wanted when I was trying to find her. It was just I wanted that questions answered. But when I first met her, I just knew instantly. I was like, this is going to be for life. She's so funny. She's so cool. Yeah, I don't think this is good. I can't not. And I was so happy, but then see the next day it kind of all daunted me and I was like, oh god, this is hell. And it was just so stressful and just so fucking me up. Because at that point also I was, I'd finished, I was about to finish uni and I was, at that point I was trying to rehearse to be the lead in a show. I was organising an Oscars for 150 people. I was having to go back to the house and pack up my my room because I was moving to uni and moving away from home. So everything like that was going through my brain and now I had a whole other family to add to the mix. Ah! Basically was inside my brain for months and 
anyone that went to college with me around that time, honestly, I don't know how you put up with me because I don't know how I put up with myself. It honestly was the most stressful time in my life. 2016 was fucking stressful, but it's also the best year of my life. See how these things happen? Um, but yeah, no, I did struggle to let her in because I just really didn't, I don't know, I was scared that she would turn around and say, oh, I don't want to be with you anymore. No, that would never happen now. I'm too perfect for that jokes. It was just one of those things where I just kind of was like, I didn't, I, fear of abandonment, I guess I've got abandonment issues now, I have trust issues, there's a lot of fuck that comes with this. Now on to another question that Maddie sent me via text which was, how do your parents feel about your seeing your birth mum? My god, they were more enthusiastic about it than me at the first time because they actually were the ones that set up and wanted the meeting in the first place instead of going to where we should have gone which is Bernardo's. Sorry Anne if you're watching this but me, Jan and Anne are meant to have a meeting together. Anne Heenan being the person at Bernardo's. I'll explain that more in another video and um, yeah we didn't. We just met down the beach and it was the best thing we ever did but um, no my parents like my dad chats with Jan's husband. My mum is constantly texting and phoning Jan and I'm just like I can't you know they're more enthusiastic so they have no problems they are actually they were so excited now on to Fern's questions now Fern's gets a bit deep not really that deep but they do actually get deep so first question this is the easiest one if you were to give anyone advice on how to handle someone uh, they know being adopted what would it be handle with care gauge how they feel about it um because some people like me feel abandoned and feel they they need to cling to friends because they fear that people will leave them and that is my biggest fear. I swear to God I feel like I go through friends like I go through fucking cigarettes. Um, so just be there for them and just promise them you won't leave um, or just promise that you'll stay for as long as you can. Um, I mean out of them all I feel like Fern is the only one that stuck by me since that day and that's saying something and uh, yeah I don't know where I'd be without Fern. And the second one Favourite thing to come out of it? That is Keaton. Nothing else but Keaton. I love everybody in the new family that I now have, but Keaton is the my favourite thing to come out of it because that little boy is the cutest, most lovable, most child I want to strangle the most, but I love him to pieces because, do you know, I think it would be very different if there wasn't Keaton. Keating keeps me holding on and I feel like uh, I have depression and I have anxiety and there is points where I wonder why I'm still here and if I should still be here but any time recently that I've actually thought about that I've just thought about Keating and how he's known almost since day one that he's had a big sister and what it would do to him if I left him and I think that without him I don't know where I'd be right now and he keeps me going and he's got the best little smile and he's my favourite thing in the world and I love him to pieces and I'm gonna cry <laughs> uh -huh. oh I don't know whether to laugh or cry um, but yeah, no, so, cute. Um, and the third is, do you think it's, oh fuck Fern, I forgot you asked this. Do you think it's changed you at all as a person since you found out? Yeah, 100%. You know, it, slight, it slightly majorly fucked me up. Um, but I wouldn't be who I am today without it. And I wouldn't be here today without it, I think. Um, I think that's what, do you know what? That's what kept me holding on when I was younger and didn't want to be here. It was like, I've not met Jan yet. I've not met my birth mum yet. And now that I've got them, my worst fear is leaving them. I didn't realise how hard this was going to be um, or how emotional I was going to get. So yeah, that's, that's yeah. So yeah, I'm adopted. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask in the comments down below or tweet me with the hashtag LawThisAdopted and uh, yeah, basically just anything, just ask me and I'll do another one of these. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I got a mosh. 
um and i love you guys and i will see you guys very soon with another video see you then bye and if you need me <laughs>